Hey, what's going on everybody? Thanks for dropping by my channel today. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about the Fine Fine K040 dual wireless mic system. So Fine Fine was gracious enough to let me try a few of their products. This is one of the products. Now all these opinions will be my own personal opinions. They did not tell me to say any of these things. So I will be giving pros and cons for this product and a few suggestions on how they can improve for future products down the line. And so, well, let's get started with the unboxing. Now, right now, we're getting straight out of the camera audio. Um, I have the AC running, and there's a lot of ambient noise, so it probably sounds horrible. But let's first start off by changing this to the Rode Video Micro. Right now, I am recording on the Rode Video Micro, which is processing the audio that you hear right now. And I'm about to switch to the Fine Fine K040 to test it out and see how you guys like it. So this is this is the Fine Fine K040 mic system. Comes with two mics. I got the little roll guard on here. So I like to hold it to where my fingers, you know, get get some support. My hand doesn't just slide up to the, the windscreen. Um but um, this mic is really good at canceling out all the ambient noise around you, which is very awesome in my opinion. But um, yeah, it's really dope. Um, you have you have like the option to change the volume on your mics. So right now, I only have this mic on. So I would change that dial right there to change the volume, and so you got your little green LCD screen and all that sort of stuff which is pretty cool. Um, it is a 12 volt DC plug, so there is no USB connector. But if you go on Amazon, there is a battery pack. I can't remember the name, but it allows you to, it has like a USB-C to DC input. So it's a rechargeable battery and you would essentially be able to plug this into that battery and you can use this as a portable system which would be really nice. But anyways. Uh, I tested the product out and uh, to see how it sounded with two, pe two different people's voices and get an opinion from somebody else. And this is that test. Okay. Like I was saying, I like um, these foams. I call it a spit guard. As you can see, it's very loud in here, and it's very difficult to test out the audio on this because somebody's back there screaming and hollering. Somebody say, ADD? Very difficult. This is why I have taken so long to put this video out. It's because the noise Kids. level. Kids. Noise. Anyways. Can't even think straight because you can't live more. with them, but you definitely don't want to live without them. Okay, so I think this mic is dope. I, it sounds different than the onboard, it sounds different than the road mic, but it I like it. Yes, I love the smell, it smells so good. I actually tested out the range, but being that you have to leave it here and you can't like walk with it or put it somewhere outside or something or in the hallway i have to leave it hooked up to my system and if i go out i mean you can't really see where i'm going so but i did a test anyways and here's the audio from that test so i am probably a few feet away from the receiver i'm outside near the highway 
walk into my vehicle. Testing out to see if this mic has some range. Digging in the car to see if there's something in here that we need. Because we were looking for something. I thought maybe it'd be in the car. I need those. So one of the things I wanted to try is I have an inverter for the car and it has, you know, household plugs on it. I think it outputs volts. I'm not hundred percent sure, but I need to make sure that's what it does. Cause if it does, V output was five volts. The input 12.8 VDC for, huh. but if it has a 12 volt output, then I could try to, use this outside of the house and so like we go somewhere that requires um requires us to have a 12 volt power supply to plug it in and i can plug it into that and we can essentially do like or parties even if there's not a, a plug available because then we could just plug it in like that anyway i am probably about probably about maybe 50 feet away from the receiver. And I don't know if it's distorted or not, but this is just a test to see if you hear my voice and see how well you hear the traffic flying by because I'm really literally right here on the side of the highway. It's a building I, I'm in. I have a, I'm probably about 20 feet away from the highway. <laughs> Anyways, going back in. Okay, so there was a moment where it sounded like it was cutting out a little bit, but I was really far away in the parking lot. I did audio tests where you, I wasn't visual, but I am outside with it, and it does like counts out a lot of the noise, which is which is very good. Um, it is also really cold outside, so I didn't want to stand in that for forever, you know. Um, now, I did notice that on Fifon's website, they have a lot of other products because I was concerned about what it can be used with. I did a review on the K037B, and I was like, man, that'd be awesome if I could sync the lab mic up and replace one of the other hand mics. But the wireless signals aren't the same, so I wouldn't be able to sync the lab mic up to it but there's something on their website. It's like a kind of like an input bridge and they have an input one and the output one. I'll show it, I'll post it up on here. And um, you can plug any of your quarter inch inputs into that. So I could plug this one into it and I could plug the quarter inch receiver into that from the lab mic and I can do the rest with some more and then I can plug that whole base into something else. So then essentially, if I wanted to hook up like two, like not two, but like four of these things to that base and have eight mics with eight different people talking on them or different instruments put into that along with the mics and have one wireless lab, you know, I can do that, which is pretty cool. So um, other than that, the only thing I don't like is the fact that these things don't come with batteries. They need, it needs four batteries. Um, I use rechargeable, so I'm cool. But if you don't have batteries and you forget to buy batteries, that sucks. Because when you buy a TV, it at least comes with a little pack of batteries with the remote. So you can immediately use the remote. Because most people, when they buy electronics, the first thing on their mind is not, I need to go get some batteries. I would have liked to see the quarter inch, the 3.5 millimeter adapter. Um, that would have went well to be able to plug it into a camera or to cell phones or to like anything that accepts a 3.5 millimeter that you can record into. It would have been nice to have that, especially for the people who use GarageBand on like the iPad and the iPhone. Adderall. Smells like Adderall. With all that being said, I think this is pretty dope. Um, if you wanna check it out and maybe purchase this mic, I'm gonna leave a link down in the description. Being able to flex between different, you know, things that you have. Uh, you say, oh, man, today I'm recording to my phone because something's broken. 
I don't have an adapter because it only came with a quarter inch. I, you know, I might be in, I don't know. That's just me. Maybe I'm the only one concerned about that. But I tried recording this. I'm actually recording a lot of this um, voiceover and talking directly into an iPhone 7 using the memo recorder. And it sounds pretty good going into it. Think about that. Yeah. If you want to see more, uh, I think I got a couple more reviews coming up. Um, and if you guys have subscribed to me and your fellow um, MS warriors, anybody fighting or suffering through MS, and, we're, you know, we're all struggling through that together. If you have seen any of my videos on MS or multiple sclerosis, I'm moving those videos to another channel. And I'm pretty much going to be doing other things that originally intended this channel to be. The videos I have on here for MS will still be here, but any video I produce after this, from this point going on, will be on another channel, and I will start linking those in the description down below when I make them so that you know what channel to go to. But for now, this channel is going to be more on what I was doing before, and I will still continue to do the MS videos. But until next time, uh, just make sure you subscribe. Hit the bell down below to be notified, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Okay, alright.